Have you ever done a science experiment and wondered what it'd be like if you did it big? I have. <laughs> My name is Phil, and I take your everyday science experiments and do them big. This is Science Max, experiments at large. Science Max! Put on your helmets for this episode of Science Max. We try to build a human-sized cart powered by inertia. Plus, Newton's laws from a caveman to crockery. Inertia on Science Max, experiments at large. Greetings, race fans and science maximites. I am Phil McCordick, and this is Science Max, Experiments at Large. Today, we're going to be experimenting with the drag racer. Ah, huh? pretty cool. It works like this. You pull the string and get the wheels going really fast, and then you let it go, and it just drives away on its own. The interesting thing is I don't have to push it. It goes by itself. It all has to do with Newton's first law of motion, which is an object at rest tends to stay at rest, and an object in motion tends to stay in motion. Uh, yeah. Let's get building. Here is everything you need to build your very own dragster. You need some popsicle sticks, some straws, and some shish kebab skewers. I love these. You can get these at the grocery store. Uh, let's see, some elastics, and of course you want wheels, and I just cut my wheels out of cardboard. So here's a quick explanation of how to build your dragster. First, use anything round to trace three circles out on your piece of cardboard. Remember, you want two big and one small circle. Then, cut out your wheels. Then it's time to make the frame of the dragster using popsicle sticks and elastics. Just put two popsicle sticks together, then wrap the elastic band around them to keep them together. First, you build one side, then the other side. Then, add some pieces across the middle to give it support. Remember not to put any popsicle sticks too near the ends because they'll get in the way of your wheels. Next, cut the straws into small pieces and use an elastic band to tie them to the ends of the popsicle sticks. Then it's just a matter of sticking the shish kebab skewer in a wheel, passing it through the straws, and sticking on the other wheel. Don't forget that the small wheel goes in the middle at the front. You can trim the skewers afterward by just breaking it off short. If you want step-by-step -step directions on exactly how to do this, you can go to our website. It's all right there. Now the last part is wrap some string around the back axle so you can pull and the wheels will spin. Let's check it out and see how it works. Didn't work that well, did it? That's because we haven't added the secret ingredient. Plasticine, the perfect secret ingredient for all of your dragster needs. And also sculpting, because that's what it's for. Remember how I said an object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion? Well, the heavier something is, the more force you need to change its direction, either get it moving or make it stop. That is called inertia. It's the tendency for an object to resist the change in motion, either getting it going or making it stop. So, the heavier we make the wheels of our dragster, the more they will resist a change in motion. So what I've done is I've stretched out my plasticine, and then you roll the wheels of the dragster around in the plasticine, and this will make each wheel way heavier than just the cardboard by itself and it will make it much better in terms of keeping the dragster going because if the wheel has more weight, it will have more inertia. Now, I have to wrap the string around the back axle just like that, and there we go. All right, let's try it out. All right, let's give it a shot and see how it works. Pull on the string, get the wheels going real fast, and there it goes. Now, of course, this is Science Max Experiments at Large, and we are going to do it again, and we're going to do it much, much bigger. That's why I'm going to the Center for Skills Development and Training. Uh, I thought it was bigger. Oh, right. Hey, Chris. Hey, Phil. How you doing? Chris is from Logics Academy. 
Logics Academy, and he is going to help me max out our dragster. Now, you guys at Logics Academy go into schools and build all kinds of cool stuff with the students, right? That's absolutely right. This is our dragster over here, actually. And uh, this one has an electric motor, which is kind of fun. And these gears touch. Ooh. Wheels get going. I like that. And... Ooh. Oh, all right. See, our dragster works on good old human power. You pull the string. And there it goes. Now, you have a physics degree, right? I do. Which means you know Newton's first law of motion. Of course. An object at rest tends to stay at rest. And an object in motion tends to stay in motion. I thought it was going to come from over there. All right, Chris, uh, I want to make a dragster big enough that we can ride. Whoa, OK. Uh, well, it's going to have to be pretty big. Yeah, I think we have enough wood, though, right? Yeah, looks and I've, like Oh, it. look, I've got some wheels. Perfect. These are bike tires. And I filled them full of air, so they're bouncy. Check Excellent. it out. Oh, it's OK. <laughs> so yeah, we build our frame out of wood, Yeah. attach the tires on, and then find a way to get them spinning. And if the tires are spinning, yeah. we don't actually have to push the cart because it'll just go on its own? That's the idea. The inertia should carry, in the wheels, should carry us down the track. So in this case, the object in motion is the wheels. That's right. And it wants to stay in motion which means that when it hits the ground, it'll push the cart. And hopefully us too. And hopefully us too. All right, let's get building. Let's do it. So Chris and I get to work building the dragster. Our maxed out version is gonna look just like the popsicle stick version. A triangular frame with two large wheels at the back and a small one at the front. What's more, we're gonna do the same thing to get the wheels spinning. We're gonna attach a rope and give it a pull. When we drop it down, the inertia of the wheels should make the dragster take off. All right, here we have our dragster. This is nice, Chris. Yeah, it looks good. So um, the only thing I don't understand is what are these for? Right, so these are going to help us lift the wheels off the ground, like this. Oh, Ugh. OK. Pull it back. And what's going to happen is we're going to run real fast with that string, and we're going to give a little kick, and hopefully it'll take off. Yeah, all right, I like it. So I just run backwards as fast as I can? As fast as you can. All right, here we go. Ready? Yep, ready. OK, safety glasses on. And oh, wait, uh, did you want to sit on it or? Oh, right. Um, let's wait until we see it working, and then we can. OK, dry run. OK, dry run. Ready? Go. Run through. And go. Yeah! <laughs> so here's what happened. Remember, the cart has no power of its own. It was able to drive away from a stop using the inertia it got from its spinning wheels and a little bit from Chris's kick. That worked pretty well. That was awesome. Yeah. I think, I think we can make it go even better. You think so? I just think we need a bit more speed. Yeah. All right, well, let's pull it back to the start. OK. So what, we just, the wheels weren't going fast enough? Yeah, I think so. I think that you running, I mean, was great, but maybe if we use something motorized. Well, I think I'm, using a motor feels like cheating. No, 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 not on the wheels. Maybe, um... Oh, just to get the wheels spinning fast. Yes, that's right. But what do we, I don't know how that would work. Well, I was thinking a power drill. A power drill? Yeah. I don't get it. Okay. How do we use a drill? Let me explain. So we'll take a drill. Right. And we'll attach it right under this axle here. And that'll get the wheel spinning a lot faster than we had it before. Oh, I see. So you put the drill right here at the end, and it, right. it'll, it'll spin the wheel. That's right. Huh. That's the idea, anyway. And once we get it up to speed, hopefully a lot faster than before, give it a kick, it should go a lot farther. OK, great. So that's, that's way better than me running all the way back with the rope. I think so. All right. Uh, now, here's the real question. Should we just go for it and have someone ride it when we do it with the drill? Well, who gets to ride it? Oh, rock, paper, scissors. OK, let's go. One, two, three. Oh, yes. all right. Uh, I will get a drill. OK. What kind of bit do we need? Uh, hex bit. Here's a fun experiment you can try. If you have something heavy, like this glass of water, and you put it on a piece of paper, you can experiment with inertia. If you move the paper slowly, the glass moves with the paper because the friction between the paper and the glass is enough to overcome the inertia of the glass. But if you move the paper quickly, the friction is not enough to overcome the inertia, and the glass stays put. And now, let's max it out. OK, let's do it. All right, now you might be tempted to try this at home, and you can, but please, for me, 
promise that you'll let an adult know you're about to do this. And don't, don't use breakable plates. Use plastic plates because this will take a couple times of practicing before you get it right. Put something on the plastic plates because the heavier they are, the better it will work. All right. Uh, did I mention not to do this at home unless an adult knows you're doing it? I cannot stress that enough. Okay, deal? All right, deal, here we go. <laughs> and there you go, Newton's first law. Thank you. Our dragster worked pretty well. But now we're gonna try sitting on it and seeing if the inertia of the wheels is enough to accelerate the dragster and the human rider. Because we're gonna need a lot more inertia, we're gonna make the wheels spin even faster using a drill. All right, power tools! Yeah, power tools! When I attach the drill to the wheel, it works really well. Yeah, that is really gonna work. All right, let's do it for real. So uh, what do you want, helmet or blast shield? Blast shield. Blast shield. All right, there you go. You ready? Go. There you go. Whoa, man. Okay. Remember, the faster the wheels are spinning, the more inertia they will have. Ready? Ready. And... Uh. <laughs> well... What happened? <laughs> uh... So you went, you went a foot! One foot! So why didn't that work uh, nearly as well as the last time we did it? Well, I think my extra weight caused a bit of the problem. Yeah. So the inertia wasn't able to carry us forward. But the whole the whole point of this is so that someone can ride the That's dragster. Because why, why build it if you can't ride it? That's exactly right. I think if we're going to have someone ride it, we need heavier wheels. Well, on the small one, we use plasticine. Yeah. To, I don't know if that's what we can we mm, should use. What if we used... Car tires. Car tires. Oh, how, what, on this? No, I think we're gonna have to build something bigger. So, we, okay, so we build a whole new frame. Yep. What if we got like the axle of, like the back axle of a car or something? It's a great the idea. The back axle of a car, and then what, we, we use the drill? I don't think the drill's gonna be enough. To move the, why? You don't think it's gonna be enough to move the back axle mm -hmm. of a car? Yeah, it's too, yeah, too uh, big. So what do we do? Well, what's good at moving the back axle of a car? Well, I mean a car, but we would have to take it off the car, so. We could use another car. We could use another, we could use, we could use another we could, car. We could use another car. Um, You'll have to explain how that works. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's go get the uh, the stuff, and you can tell me how we're gonna use. So, how do we use another car to make the first car go? Okay, I'm thinking we jack one car up. Yeah. Back our big dragster. Newton's laws in 60 seconds. Isaac Newton was a super genius, and among the many things he did was come up with three laws of motion that describe how everything moves or doesn't move. I will demonstrate using myself. Newton's first law, an object at rest tends to stay at rest. An object in motion tends to stay in motion. Newton's third law is for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Ugh. These sandbags weigh as much as I do. So when I push them forward, ugh, I go backward the same distance. Now Newton's second law is F equals MA. Force equals mass times acceleration. How hard you push something is equal to its mass or its weight times its acceleration or how much you change its speed. I know, that one's a little bit more complicated, so we're gonna have a whole other segment describing that one coming up. Meantime, let's recap. Newton's first law, object at rest tends to stay at rest. Object in motion tends to stay in motion. Newton's third law, for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's second, fma! Newton's three laws of motion. Now how do I, how do I get down? How do I, how do I get, oh wait, I know, I know. Oh no, that was that was not a good idea. That was. Now it's time for science so simple a caveman could do it. This is a caveman. Huh? This is a door. It is a well-known scientific fact that cavemen do not know how to open doors. Huh? <laughs> 
This is Newton's second law. Force equals mass times acceleration. Ma? Our caveman thinks he can open the door if he uses force. Ah, yeah. Well, what if he was to walk briskly into the door? Uh, no, I... Then the force that he will hit the door with will be equal to his mass, or how much he weighs, times his acceleration, which will be walking speed to zero. It didn't work, did it? No. Looks like we need more force. If we want to increase the force, we need to increase the mass, increase the acceleration, or both. A rock! That's perfect. Uh. If the caveman holds the rock, he has a greater mass. Now we just need to increase the acceleration, which means going faster. Uh. Let's try running. Uh. Go on. A little further. That's good. Now the caveman is going to run at the door. To get more force, we've increased the mass to a caveman plus a rock. And we've increased the acceleration to go from running speed to... Zero. And there you have it. That's how Newton's second law works. Join us next time for how doorknobs work. Our inertia power dragster just wasn't maxed out enough. So Chris and I built a second dragster, the Dragster Mark II. This one is a welded metal frame, and instead of bike tires, we're using car tires because they're much heavier than bike tires. And to get the tires spinning fast enough, we're going to use a car. That's right, we jack up an actual car and have the tires touch each other. Then we can get those heavy tires spinning fast enough to get enough inertia to get me going from nothing. The Science Max build team pulled out all the stops on this one. Just like the smaller version, the dragster has to be up on jacks so the wheels don't touch the ground as they get spun up. The wheels of the dragster touch the wheels of this working car, which is also jacked up. That's how we're gonna get them spinning fast enough. Chris is over there. He's got a rope just like I'm gonna have a rope. And when we're ready, we're going to run forward and pull it off the jacks, and our dragster will go! We hope, right? That's the plan, right? Yep. All right. I think it's gonna work. I think we should do it. Uh, ready, Chris? Ready. You ready, Paul? Ready. Fire it up. Go, go, go. Faster, faster, faster. Keep going. Faster, faster. Keep going. All right, Chris. After three, right? One, two, three, go! <laughs> Nice. It's pretty good. Yeah, that worked. All right, I think, are we ready for me to be in it? I think so. All right. We're going to do it. The helmet's in the, in the Max Van. Do you have the keys for the Max Van? Uh... uh keys for the Max Van. Max. Here's another small experiment you can do with inertia. Take a stack of checkers, or game pieces like I have here. Oh, or coins. Coins work really well. And a ruler, or something else that's flat. This is the kind of stick they give you at the hardware store to stir your paint with. Now, you can knock checkers out of the middle of the stack without the stack falling over, if you're very careful. You see, the friction of the checkers leaving the middle of the stack won't be enough to overcome the inertia of the rest of the checkers. Ready? <laughs> Now, let's max it out. Oh, I have these pizza boxes and they should work the same way. You see, you get a stack and don't worry, I've already eaten all the pizza. And I put them on there like that. And now I need a ruler. And what I've got is this cricket bat. You see, it's got a nice flat edge just like the ruler. Now, if this works right, I can hit it hard enough to knock out just one or two pizza boxes and the rest of the stack should stay. Here we go, ready? <laughs> Science! Awesome. <laughs> and there you have it, Newton's first law. An object at rest tends to stay at rest and an object in motion tends to stay in motion.
An object in motion tends to stay in motion. Usually there's a sign that kind of well, our inertia power dragster worked oh, really well. And now it's time for the <laughs> final step. Me, All right. riding it go. to glory. Okay. Now, I, I know it probably doesn't need saying, but don't try this at home. Not that I, I think you really can try this at home because this is kind of involved, but I figured I should probably tell you guys just in case you were tempted to try it at home. We know what we're doing. We know what we're doing, right, Chris? Yes. Yes, yes, we know what we're doing. All right. Fire it up. Keep it going. Keep it going. All the way. Whoa. All the way. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! How's that for inertia? <laughs> wow, look at that. That's amazing. Cool. High fives! Yeah! <laughs> Let's recap. The weight of the tires, as well as how fast they were going, provided enough inertia to accelerate me and the weight of the dragster. The objects in motion, the wheels, wanted to stay in motion so much, they moved the dragster all by themselves. Inertia and Newton's first law of motion. Thank you for joining us on Science Max. Let's go again. Your oh, turn? Yeah, my turn. Okay. Woo. Inertia! I can't, I can't, I can't do it. Whoa. 